Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to share a tutorial on how I make digital planners on Canva. So first of all, head on to canva.com and sign in your account. On the top left corner, click the create a design button. Select custom size. Make sure to put inches as a unit, put 9.5 in width and 11 in height. Go to elements and find the spiral notebook. Click graphics and look for your preferred spiral. Then go ahead to shape and choose your cover. I'm editing here the corner rounding. Choose your preferred color. For me, it's this dark brown. Let's add some texture. On this part, we are going to create 12 tabs for 12 months. Choose a shape and size it in a way that the 12 tab will perfectly fit in our notebook. And then, let's personalize each tab with unique colors. In my case, I'm using rainbow colors. On the left corner, choose text and then we're gonna search for the best text that we can find and name our title cover. So in my case, I'm writing it as my personal planner 2024. Also on the graphics tab, I'm going to choose an aesthetic element to add something on our cover. Now let's go and head to naming our monthly tabs. This one here is January, so flip it over to 90 degrees. Place it on the first tab and do it on the rest of the 11 tab. You may choose ruler and use it to align every text accordingly. Next up is to duplicate this page, remove the tabs, remove the title, and then duplicate it to 12. Next step is to rename every page to each of the month name. So this one is January, February, and so on. Now, pay attention to this part. First, go back to our cover page. Our goal here is to create hyperlinks for each month tabs. In order to do that, click first the element, right-click, choose link, and then choose the display page for each tab. So in this case, it's January, then for the second tab, it's February, and so on. So you better make sure also to click first the text, and then choose the box, the colored box, and put the link there as well. I'm going to fast forward in this part. So there you go, we have our tabs hyperlinked. And the next step is to copy each 12 tabs in each 12 month pages. But before that, we have to organize, we have to group each tab first, and then copy it in each month pages, just like that. Next up, I want my tabs to pop up whenever I click onto them. In order to do that, I'm going to use a ruler and pop them up in each pages. So there you go, when I click onto them, they will pop. Next step is to add our extra pages on each month. In this case, we're going to add the calendars. Just look for one calendar template. It's optional if you want to put the days and weeks. That way, you can easily edit the file for the following year. Then, insert it in your monthly pages. If you are done personalizing each calendar pages, then you have to insert it on each calendar tabs.
Next page. Mm, I'm thinking to insert a note page here. After the calendars, let's look for another template for notes page and then personalize it on our own branding and then let's insert it every calendar pages. Let's look for more trackers to add in our digital planners. So yes, we're going to add a couple more pages to our digital planner. So there you go, our digital planners are now complete. The next step is to download the digital planner and then we're gonna check if all the hyperlinks are working well. So we're expecting that hyperlinks will lead us to each calendar pages and then each tab will pop whenever we click onto them. So that's it. I think we are now done with our digital planners and all with hyperlinks working well. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from my tutorial. Thank you.